In the case of a cataract, the crystalline lens loses its transparency. The crystalline lens is this small lens behind the pupil that converges the photons on the retina and that enables the eye to focus. If the crystalline lens becomes uniformly opaque, it will let fewer photons pass through and vision will progressively blur with possible alteration of color vision. If only a part of the crystalline lens becomes opaque, light sources can become bothersome, especially during the night, affecting such activities like driving. If only the central nucleus becomes opaque, double vision in the affected eye can occur. Cataract treatments always involve surgical intervention with the goal of replacing the crystalline lens. In the majority of cases, the surgical team will proceed in the following manner. At the beginning of the procedure, the eye is filled with a viscoelastic product that will protect the eye tissues, notably the cornea. The surgeon will then be able to remove the anterior crystalline lens envelope by completing what is called a capsular rexus. Using ultrasonic phacoemulsification, the surgeon will then pulverize and aspirate the interior contents of the crystalline lens while leaving the posterior envelope intact. He will then place an intraocular lens whose convergence power will be calculated by echography and whose loops will provide stability. After leaving the clinic, you will place eye drops in your eye. The name of the eye drop, the frequency of use, and the duration of the treatment will all be stipulated by your original prescription. Your vision will improve progressively in the days following the operation. But in the vast majority of cases, your optimal vision will be obtained after modification of your old pair of glasses. After you leave the clinic, you will be allowed to read, watch television, walk, bend over, all your daily activities. However, you will need to respect three precautions for 15 days after your operation. First, nothing must touch your eye. A direct shock can reopen your scar. It is therefore recommended to avoid sports and to wear protective glasses that can keep small children from touching their grandparents' eyes. Do not irritate your eye. Be careful when you use shampoo and soap, and do not use swimming pools. Finally, avoid all sources of infection. Avoid catching a cold and avoid infected people. An ocular infection is a very serious complication that necessitates emergency treatment. If your eye experiences redness or pain, or you experience a sudden loss of vision, call your surgeon immediately.